good morning. My name is Teacher Darren, and I will be your grammar teacher for today. We're going to discuss about present continuous versus simple present tense. So, let's proceed to our topic. Let's start with present continuous tense. Our part pattern will be subject plus the be verbs am, is, are, plus verb in ing form. If your subject is I, use am plus verb in ing. If your subject is singular pronoun, pronouns or nouns, you may use is plus verb in ing form. On the other hand, if your subject is in plural form or plural pronouns, use are plus verb in ing. Okay. What is a present continuous tense? It tells us an action that is happening now. Look on the surroundings. What is happening now? Example, the birds are flying high. The sun is shining hot. The students are playing outside. Other students are studying English. We use present continuous for an action that is something happening now. I have an example here. I am reading uh, some articles now. Second example, look, the water is boiling in the pantry. Okay, so our timeline will be, this is the past, this is the present, and the future. The action is happening here, now. Okay, clear? So let's proceed now with simple present tense. Simple present tense tells us an action that are habitual or repeated regularly or it states general fact or truth so our pattern would be subject plus the base form of the verb just add s to the base form or es if the subject is in singular or third person form example she washes it flies. They play. Okay? Let's start with habitual or repeated actions. Here, I am reading some articles now. The action is happening now. Contrary, I read books every day. We use the base form and there is every day. If you look to the timeline, it means a habitual action. So, I read books every day. Yesterday, you read a book. Today, you might be reading a book. And tomorrow, you might read a book. So, in the past, present, or future, it comprises all the timeline. So we use simple present tense. Another function of a simple present tense. General fact or truth. Example, water boils at exactly 100 degrees Celsius. All of us know that the water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. It is a widely known truth. That's why we use Simple present tense. And like here, the water is boiling the pantry. Because you have seen, the action is happening. But if you say water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, it is a general fact. Okay? So we know we now know the difference between present continuous and simple present tense. So tomorrow, we're going to discuss about simple present also and present perfect tense plus simple past and again present continuous their comparison so that ends our day goodbye